Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Civ 5 with the Japanese. And we're continuing on from last time. Boom, most literate people. Yeah, Siamese. My war opponents are literate, but I have Skullbash, so we will see. Not really, I have a scout. Although I doubt he has anything of consequence himself. I will probably want to invest in, uh, well hang on here. I'll probably want to invest in uh, Animal Husbandry before Calendar. Nah, we'll see. I'll go Sailing first, because that'll increase my overall tech rate. And immediate threat from him isn't so high. I can probably even buy out eventually. If I want to. Boom. So no biggie there. It is a little unfortunate. I would have loved to get a uh, cheap city capture and showcase that. I know some people have managed it on CFC. Yeah, see? He thinks there's no point in this conflict, but there's some point in this conflict. I assure you. Oh, interesting. That barb camp is damaged. And look at this. Minus 33% terrain modifier because they are on flatlands. I always found that interesting in this game, that uh, your flatland penalty, it's like a death field. It's amazing. Get them on the killing fields. Maybe uh, soften this warrior up a little bit, or brute, so to speak. Supposedly decisive victory. I think I'll just heal up. No biggie. Animal husbandry would not be bad for the cows. Apparently my city has decided to culturally expand out to get the cows. <laughs> for whatever reason. I guess it's the nearest visible resource to the city. Also not too bad of a uh, feature to come from the monument early in the game. So I could have done worse with that. Okay, this guy's on flatland, so he's dead. And I'm just going to spend another turn healing here. Keeping myself uh, surviving against the barbarian brutes. Yeah, look at that. Just take some damage, stalemate. I really don't want to attack that yet. I don't have any reason to attack that yet. And just to play a little bit safe, I will leave my worker in there for a turn. And... Yeah, let's get a workboat out, and then I'll uh, worry about a warrior and settler. Anyway, I have sailing... I want to go Animal Husbandry, find some horses so that I can put a kill shot on our friend to the south. Let's see how the barbarians handle the threat. Okay, so now I can move my worker out quite safely because this guy is not going to do anything to my scout. In fact, I could probably even kill him, but I won't. I'll just leave it be and heal up. Take some uh, healing from being within my borders. Yeah, see, that's why. And I get to build a plantation for some happiness. Also, uh, can't quite take uh, piety yet. think, uh, I actually, if I see horse after researching animal husbandry, what's actually going to happen is I'm going to make it classical era using that. Alright. Well, this guy is, well, I'll get rid of the one that's on superior defense area. <coughs> Just heal up. Nice and easy attacks. Just get out of here. Get gone. Alright, let's see, uh, horse. You still... No, you want even a little bit more gold per turn. How about no? And a you fail. Excellent. In fact, I'm even going to have access to horse in five turns, as it turns out. So a little bit of a break after uh, making an ill advised attack on the Siamese capital. And so let's get started on a warrior, and then I'll go with a settler. And I do have horse, so that triggers the researching of horseback riding as my first classical air attack. And yes, I've settled on piety now for certain. So that'll be nice. A Met player has entered Classical. Well, it's better than having a Met player enter Classical, I must say. Hopefully this, uh... Ouch. Uh, this is not a bad time to make use of my instant healing capabilities. So, yeah. 
Um, I don't know if I want to be on a flatland. Is this on a flatland? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, skip a turn there. See what the barbarians do. That's no good either. I'm gonna skip another turn. I mean, ultimately, I'll bring a warrior down there and lay waste to that and settle up on the gems for an instant happiness boost and a lot of culture. Uh, once I hit classical, oh, they spawned another barbarian. That's unpleasant. Well, hopefully my warrior gets there soon. Looks like I have a source of four horses, so that'll be uh, very strong for my military. Genova's under attack. Oh, what's it gonna be like that for? Kyoto demands whales. I have no idea where whales are. I hate when they demand things you just simply can't see. Barbarians, let me kill the AI first and then I'll worry about that. Ouch. These barbarians are getting up in my grill. I don't know, maybe I should be banned from using expressions like that, but I do not mind. Hmm. This is a little bit difficult. Flanking bonus. Yeah, let's get away from the flanking bonus. I'd rather not lose the scout if I can help it. They might kill it, but I'd really rather not. Um, stalemate. Either side could die. That's not great. So we'll just do this, and the scout can uh, heal up here while defending across a river. <laughs> That's fine. Oops. What are you doing? The pasture's not done yet. Oh, probably barbarian threat, I suppose. Oh man, everyone's just entering classical era on me. That is nonsensical. And... I really hate to be in the open field against them. Well, it's fine. I've spent a turn there. Sure, I accept your deal of a fair peace treaty, despite the fact that you killed more than me. It's probably because I trained an extra warrior. There we go. I have successfully defended. And now I'll move here. And that averts both my early war flop. And I'm going to be able to settle on a luxury resource for a lot of culture. That's right, early in the game, happiness will be culture for me. And that should help with the early social policies. I really underestimated Mandate of Heaven when I started playing it. Oh, come on now. Barb Spearman in my face and everything. It's possible to be more unpleasant than that, but not by a lot. I'm going to pull back yet again. Fall back. Actually, I'll leave the scouts to die in this case now. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. See, the fortifications helps me quite a bit in this case. Copenhagen already wants Cape Town eliminated, but I am not eliminating a maritime city state, even if it is hostile. So there. Let's see what this uh, barbed spear does. Oh, it fails miserably. That works for me. Yeah, the early cities, before they grow especially, you can just settle right on the luxury resources, save yourself some worker turns, and get some early happiness going very quickly. Uh, and some early production. Really is a nice boost. I like doing it if, when it's uh, possible to do so. So here I can finally move back down here, and oh man, more barb pressure. Let's, uh, well I don't have horsemen yet, so let's put up another settler. Absolutely. I probably should just clear the barb encampment, but I really don't want to lose a unit doing it. And this appears to be my chance. So I'm going to take it. Well, actually... No, I'm going to move my settler like so. And just uh, leave the warrior there for our turn. See how the computer responds to that move. Alright. And now, if I move my settler here, I get to see the surroundings. Pretty safe, so I can clear out the barbarian camp for 25 gold. And I get to shoot out a barb galley, which is not too bad. Warrior can take a promotion, plus there's nothing that can reach the settler by next turn, so I will be able to settle the gems as planned. For some instant happiness help. And we are in classical era, so um, yeah, here I will settle this city. 
Yeah, some drop in happiness, but not too bad. And heal up. And I'll move into my borders to heal up. And the first thing I'm going to build in this city is another worker. Should help me out. And let's choose research. At this point, I don't really need a whole lot to help me out in terms of military. So what I'm going to want to go for is happiness. And really, the prime happiness source is going to be construction for these coliseums at this point in the game. And luxury resources. Peace treaty is ended. It's nice to see those properly ending. I think I'll heal up this warrior and uh, push down to for the silver, which I will take, along with some extra horse resources, apparently. Anyway, I have some social policies to take, so let's do it. The first one's just a straight happiness boost of two, so uh, very acceptable. Next one I want to take is Mandate of Heaven. 50% of excess happiness goes into culture. Nice early culture boost, for certain. And then I can work down over here for additional happiness and try to milk this a little bit more. I already have uh, plus 15, not too bad. From resources, I mean, of course. And I'm also going to want to go for trapping uh, for, well, Maybe not for these early uh, cities. Maybe I want to get some production in them and specialize them a little bit. Later cities I can just spam for gold. I'm not going to use gold too much early anyway. But I do want to get trapping because trapping is like kind of like cottages. <laughs> Except for uh, trading posts aren't as strong long term. Uh, but they're a uh, stronger early game. So hard to go wrong with those. And let's push down here. Looking pretty good now in terms of barbarian defenses. I, I, the, the worst is past, and s I think I will build, put my worker down here and get started on the livestock sooner rather than later. Also, I could and I probably should uh, buy out a city state at this point. Does Keep Town have any happiness resources? They do have incense. I probably mentioned that in the previous video. And Geneva has whales, and they're cultured. Um. Geez, it's hard to say. I think my stuff will decay a little bit sl more slowly with them. They might be a better investment early, although the food is very appealing. This early in the game, though, the culture's not bad either. Anyway, uh, let's get started on that. It should be an instant golden age very shortly. And... Hmm. Throw some more arrows at the Barbarian Galley. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. I think it would be worth my while to uh, get more happiness by uh, and more culture at the same time. Boom. Pretty solid, pretty solid. So I will take that. Instant Golden Age. What more could you ask for at this point in the game? I love it. And uh, this scout is kind of on barb duty, ironically. And I will leave him as such. Yeah, this city, not very good for uh, production. It'll be okay for commerce, I guess. And I want to get some uh, culture in it eventually as well. Wow, there's like, could expand any number of tiles. Interesting. Yeah, I'll just leave him here so we can respond to either side. There's not a lot of tile improvements up north of Kyoto to worry about, so I'm okay in terms of that. And okay, so Kyoto has finished that, and I have access to horsemen now, so I will start producing them. And I will settle down towards silver, but that's going to have to come in the next video because I am once again coming up on the time limit. So, uh, the main team signing off until next time on Let's Play Civilization 5.